Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim Collins and this is a giant box of mallets sent to me by Innovative Percussion. They did not tell me what they're sending me so I'm going to be surprised. I'm going to open them up, I'm going to check them out on the vibraphone and give you my thoughts. So let's, let's get into this, it's like Christmas over here. Ooh, ooh, mm. all right, nice. And they, ah, yeah. All right. Boy, these are all sets of four. So first of all, thank you, Innovative Percussion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of four mallets. So, all right, I'm gonna open them and here we go. Just so you know, just like I did in my previous mallet video, I'm recording everything with the Zoom H4 recorder. I actually have some better microphones, but I figured for the comparison's sake, I would keep it consistent with the previous video. That way you can compare and contrast. So if any of these mallets sound good to you and you'd like to buy them and you would also like to, su to help support me a little bit, I will have some affiliate links that you can buy them. And if you use these links to buy these mallets, it helps me out a little bit and supports my channel. I'm gonna start with the ones that I already know I love, the RS-250 ones. You've already heard me talk about how much I love these mallets. Since I made that last video and I was kind of complaining about how the pair, the set I had fell, fell apart pretty quickly, I actually bought another set of four and I've been using them a lot and they have definitely been holding up. They're, they've been a lot more durable than the first pair I bought. And this pair seems to feel the same way. These actually, in some way, they maybe feel a little bit softer than the first ones that I got. But this is now my third set of these and these are fantastic mallets. They have a pretty large, and heavy head, which you can see here. Uh, it's, you just get that nice bouncy spring. It has a big fat sound, approaching that of the more fat head mallets like the Arb Albright mallets. The rattan has been thicker on the last sets of these that I've had. You know, it adds to the weight and these definitely have some weight. You will feel it in your forearms when you play with them, but the sound is great. You can cut through a band, you can play very hard without worrying about it being too slappy or loud. So these are great mallets. I highly recommend them. All right, I'm gonna stick with the familiar and go to the David Friedman DF30s. I had the old set of these that I talked about in my last video, and I also have since bought a new set of these, one of the uh, innovative percussion sets of these, and I've been using them. Uh, these have much longer rattan than the previous ones that I had. They have a smaller mallet head, uh, but the, t the yarn is fantastic. It lasts forever, so I'll just play a little bit with them. Well, after playing with those RS-250 once, these really feel very light in my hand. It's almost like I'm, I can fly over the keyboard without thinking about it very much. Great set of mallets. These are standards that you kind of have to have in your collection. Now let's get onto the stuff that I have never tried before. All right, these are Innovative Percussion RS-30Cs. Uh, they look sort of like those classic blue Mike Balter mallets. The head is a little bit smaller. Let me compare. The RS-251s have a mallet head about this size, and here's the, uh, here's the, uh, here's the next one, the RS-30C. So let's see what they sound like. Wow, that is completely not what I was expecting with these. When I was first going like this, they feel very hard. When I put pressure on this with my fingers, they feel hard. I was expecting a much louder, harder sound, but these are extremely soft. I would not use these for playing with a, a band, at least with a drummer. They could work maybe if you're playing piano duo or if you really want to, I mean, there was very little attack with these mallets. 
mean, these are very soft. They're also quite heavy and they didn't have the spring, I didn't get the response, like the bounce back that I'm used to feeling in the RS-251s or some other type of mallets. They're too soft for my taste, so. Okay, these must be, uh, this is the RS-40s. I'm guessing these are gonna be a little harder. They're built essentially the same way. So you can see the slight difference, at least in this set. So this is the really soft one, the RS-30 that I just played. And you see it has a little thread that's maybe grayish colored. This one has a blue thread going through it. So other than that, they look exactly the same. The felt is a little per more purple on this one. So let's see what they sounds like. I'm assuming these are gonna be a little harder. That's just what I'm assuming because you can't get much softer than the last ones. So yeah, clearly these are harder. Still the same thing, the, the, the rattan is quite stiff and these don't have the bounce back. So if you like a mallet that doesn't bounce around too much, these might be good for you. They remind me a little bit of the Jolock quick fly mallets that I've also tried, which I'll have a video up about later. These are an intriguing set of mallets. I really love how they look. They have the sort of diamond shaped mallet head or the mushroom shaped head which reminds me of those old Good Vibes mallets, if you remember what those look like. These are, however, much bigger than the old Good Vibes mallets. The rattan is stiff. These are, by the way, the DM28, Dan Moore vibraphone mallets from Innovative Percussion. I've never played these before. I've seen them online and, and thought about ordering them, but never have. Uh, they feel lighter to me, so let's see what they sound like. Yeah, they're nice. They have kind of a light sound. I don't think you're going to be able to get super loud volume out of the instrument, but they do have a nice sound. They feel good. They're, they move around quickly on the instrument. Yeah, they're good mallets. I like them. I would probably use them in quieter situations, not situations where maybe the vibraphone is going to be mic'd and they're going to be trying to amplifying the full sound, but they do get a nice basic sound, which, yeah, I would use these. Okay, I got two sets left here. These are the JT23 Jerry Tahuar vibraphone mallets. They look very similar to the RS251s, except the mallet head is smaller. So here's the Tahuar mallet, here's the RS251. You can see it's a little bit, little bit bigger. Let me block out my eyes, hello. So let's see what they sound like. Uh, the rattan seems pretty stiff. Yeah, clearly they're pretty soft. They remind me a little bit of those RS-30s that I checked out just a few minutes ago. I generally like a mallet that has a larger head, uh, you know, like the Albrights or uh, like the RS-251s have a larger, but these have a good sound. They would be good maybe in a piano duo or in some sort of quieter drummerless situation so that you don't lose the articulation. Good. All right, now we get to the Anders Ostrand. I believe it's pronounced Ostrand. These, I, I, I'm gonna confess, I have tried these before and I really like them. In fact, if you've seen my video where I play Gary Burton's solo on Armando's rumba, I'm using the AA30s, the harder ones in there. These are the AA25s 
and uh, they're a little bit softer, but they have a great sound. They're very heavy. They got a large mallet head, just like the RS-251s. I have one other pair of these that I also bought before, and uh, I really like them. It's funny, when I play these in my room, to me, they, they have a great sound. They're just a little tiny bit too soft for my taste. However, I will say, I've played some gigs recently where I brought the harder versions of these mallets, the AA30s, and those always sound fantastic in my room, and then when I've taken them on the stage, they sounded a little bit too hard, and I ended up defaulting back to the RS-251s. Next time I do a gig, I'm gonna bring these with me. I have a feeling these will actually be perfect for situations like that, where I get the feeling that the mallets that I prefer in my room are a little bit too hard, depending on the stage where I'm playing. Yeah, these are great set of mallets. I highly recommend getting them. All right, I'm gonna talk about another set of mallets. These are not mallets that Innovative sent me. These are mallets I bought on my own, but they are Innovative mallets. They are the Anders Ostrand AA 30s. So these are the harder versions of the ones that I just used. I only have a set of two because uh, I was buying mallets and I didn't know which ones I would want. So I just got one pair of everything. So these, however, I'm gonna be buying more of because I love them. This is what I used in the Gary Burton Armando's Roomba video. And just to compare the AA25s with these, I'm gonna play a little bit for you now so you hear the difference. These mallets have such a great bouncy feel. They have a strong articulation and a fat fundamental sound. They sound good over the whole range of the instrument. Probably these are my second favorites after the RS-251s in the innovative percussion line of jazz vibraphone mallets. Thank you so much to the people at Innovative Percussion for sending me all these mallets. And my honest opinion is that uh, they are a great man manufacturer of jazz vibraphone mallets. So please subscribe for more vibraphone and jazz related content and uh, keep the comments and questions coming because I get all my ideas from you. So have a nice day and happy vibing.